Flat pack furniture is extremely popular, saves you money and comes with all the basic fittings you need. Here are some handy tips to make sure it all goes like clockwork. Before you start, clear a big enough area to work in on a soft surface in the room you're going to use your furniture. You don't want to be dragging furniture from room to room once it's assembled. Read the instructions before you start, a couple of times if need be. Don't skip ahead. It's all about putting the right parts in the right place in the right order. Every step and part will be clearly numbered. Lay all the parts on a carpet or soft surface to minimize scratches. Once you have checked and counted the hardware, it's a good idea to keep all screws and fittings in their packages until you need them. Check against the instructions that you have all the parts you need. If you're missing anything, have another look in the box. It'll probably be hidden in a corner. Put any cardboard, styrofoam and the transit boards used to protect during delivery out of the way. It'll take from about 15 minutes for smaller jobs to a few hours for larger items. Your instructions will give you a guide time and tell you whether it's a one-person or two-person job. Cam bolts are easy to fit but need to be aligned correctly. Make sure the arrow on the bolt points in the direction of the pin before pressing into the hole so it slides over the pin easily. Carefully turn the bolt half a turn so the arrow is pointing in the opposite direction to lock the bolt in place. Draw runners come in two very similar shapes, marked L for left and R for right, so you can fit them to the correct side of the unit. Draw runners have multiple holes for the screws. You need to make sure that the correct holes are lined up to the units, otherwise your drawers won't work properly. Next, you need to make sure that your unit is perfectly square before fitting the back panel. Measure from corner to corner diagonally. If the measurements are equal, then your unit is perfectly square. Now that your unit is nearly finished and freestanding, it's time to fit the doors. You can make any adjustments by turning the adjustment screws on the hinges. If your item has more than two adjustable hinges per door, start by adjusting the top and bottom hinges first, then adjust the rest. Make lateral adjustments by adjusting the screw. Make vertical adjustments via a slot in the mounting plate and make front to back adjustments by slackening the hinge arm mounting screw. When you've finished, you can take the supplied hexagonal key and instructions to the back of your furniture or underneath, so they're handy if you need them again. And finally, make sure you secure tall pieces of furniture like bookshelves or wardrobes to the wall with an anti-tip strap to make sure they won't topple over. These are supplied with furniture over 75 centimeters in height, though you'll need to provide your own fittings, screws, wall plugs, etc. to suit your wall and the task. We hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.